Hi everybody, I'd like to take a quick review on uh, my review on Kubo Tite's Bleach uh, that's available on Hulu.com and the streamed form and subtitled. Yeah, so the first couple episodes of the show are really interesting. What you have is uh, Ichiro Kurosaki, he is a high school student who gets turned into a Shinigami or Soul Reaper, and he has to fight evil like demon like entities known as Hollows. Now, for the first couple episodes and story arcs, it's a classic battle manga where you have random hollows show up and he has to battle them and adjust to his new life. Now, further along, it totally detracts from this concept of, you know, Ichigo fighting various demons. Instead, it's him having to fight other Shinigami or Soul Reapers to uh, save the life of somebody who helped him out. And then we have a really big classic shonen battle manga or anime going on where they fight. Now, however, unlike classic ones where they have things like power levels and uh, classical training, instead it's all about the abilities and my ability will trump this one. So, what does Bleach turn into? It turns into some version of Yu-Gi-Oh! with swords. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, it goes into a little bit of Digimon style where you have Evolution or uh, Zanpakuto releases. Again, not bad, it's interesting, but the level of foreshadowing and uh, plot development for the events really does not show. How can you tell? Well, in the beginning of the show, and the series, nobody could fly. By the middle episode, uh, I don't know, 150 or so, everybody's standing in the middle of the air. <laughs> Even various demons. So, how the hell do they go from a ground-based combat platform to everybody flying around? Now, we're not talking about the captain with the dragon wings on him. We're talking about everybody. Ichigo, Ishida, Chad, whoever. So it's all about the abilities that come up. Now, again, it's not bad, but it really loses track. So, uh, the series itself, uh, the animated series, burned through a lot of the storyline really quickly. So maybe an actual volume of manga could be up by an episode. Not exactly uh, really good pacing, and they did something totally opposite of Dragon Ball Z when they had fill arts. They created their own shit. So, we have multiple arcs. We have, say, the Bounta arc, which they somehow fit into the entire series, but they had to add extra characters. But however, these are periphery characters, known as uh, mod souls that inhabit stuffed animals. Like uh, this guy. If uh, he had a mod soul, he'd be walking around. Instead, they're just little characters that are ignored for most of the main story arc. Totally wasted resource and creation of the universe. Hey, sorry, Khan. You're really useless in the story. So, in the middle of the uh, series, you know, there's uh, one bad guy. He frames his death by having uh, a dummy of him uh, hung up in the middle of the wall. However, like I said, later on, they just say, screw this, and everybody's just jumping and flying around. So the whole aspect of, hey, how the hell does body get up there? It's totally moot. So, what's wrong with the show? Well, Later on in the show, somehow everybody gets miraculous power boosts. Like, say, Ichigo somehow gets to go into uh, his hollow mode, which is, uh, like Naruto, a way to tap into some really destructive, uncontrollable, instinctual power that he is really, really afraid of tapping uh, consistently. So, again, not a bad plot device, but it's pretty overused. Later on, he learns to control it, but oh wait, there's another form to it. Anyway, it goes on and on for miscellaneous story arcs. We even have the throwaway filler arcs that are pretty useless. And uh, don't really add to and, uh, miscellaneous side stories that are, you know, self-contained. Every Nobody can die because they hold plot armor because they're actually needed for the main series. <laughs> the dramatic element is really lost. And again, like I said, it's all about the abilities. And what do they have? They have this uh, big bad guy who keeps on... Uh, it's like he's... Endlessly digivolving. And he gets beaten by Ichigo. Ichigo got his butt kicked in by how many times? And uh, he got his butt kicked by the 6th rank, barely beat him. Got killed, almost killed by the 5th rank uh, Espada. Uh, he fights the 3rd, somehow goes super mode, beats him. Can't beat the 0, and then he has to fight the big bad guy Aizen. And somehow he goes into Bleach's version of a hyperbolic time chamber. And comes about so strong, he uh, kicks the floor with whatever Aizen done. Now, again, it's not 
horrible, but in terms of a cohesive story, it makes no sense, there's no planning, and it's really, really weak overall storytelling. You can just tell it's, uh, they're making stuff up on the fly. Yeah, it's kind of realistic like that, but then they overpower everybody, and the story arcs, it just, it just feels predictable. Yeah, nobody really dies, there's no real tension, because there's so much freaking plot armor, and it's really disappointing. Now, on the good side, when they have a manga-based story battle, they do really, really good artistic work. Studio Pro gets a lot of props for being able to know when to go into the black and white scenes and whatnot. The background music of the show, especially the first original soundtrack, they've got a couple good tracks. My favorite, personally, being "On the Precipice of Defeat," and uh, no sound, no words, and it's just a really, really great beat. And um, however. The opening credits, the animation for that deserves a lot of credit because it's really interesting even though none of those sequences on there will actually show up in the show and actually make no sense in terms of the show. The animated movies, um, if you think of them as a separate continuity, they don't really fit anywhere within the main story arc of the uh, manga. Not bad, you know, pretty self-contained if you get past the fact that you have no idea what the timing and within the show is supposed to be. Uh, Memories of Nobody, decent movie. Uh, Diamond Dust Rebellion, not bad. Uh, Fade to Black, I Call Your Name, interesting, but again, it is just so out there. You can't really figure out where in the damn storyline it's supposed to take place. So, I have not seen the Hell Arc, and again, it's a weird complex like the Dragon Ball Z movies where you have no idea what's going on. I can't wait to see what happens when somebody makes an abridged version like Dragon Ball Z abridged of Bleach. It'll actually be pretty interesting and a lot more fun. Anyway, if you do have the time, go ahead, go on Hulu, watch it. It's uh, also showing on Cartoon Network, also pretty fun. Um, Johnny Young Bosch as the voice act American voice actor Ichigo, pretty cool. And also, one of the voice actors was the Digimon Emperor, so and he does that pretty well. So, anyway, enjoy Bleach. Unfortunately, Naruto, even with filler, is a lot better than Bleach at this point.